Hello. Hey, crafty friends. Hello, everybody. Today, we've been playing with wax. Yes, we have, and I'm shining man up right and now. And the more we played, the more fun we oh, had. Crack, crack. And, and. I'm being dangerous over here. Yeah, I got my supplies um, from Scrappy Shack. And. <laughs> I didn't buy any. Nasty with the econ economy way. Well, I didn't buy any while we were there. I, I didn't just, either, but it haunted me. It well, like it haunted her more than it did me. It didn't haunt you really till you saw mine. No, like, no, mm. yes, that's true. <laughs> then I got haunted. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, the bundle that I got came with the stylus. And yes. I, I had not even, oops, taken it out of the package. Um... I mean, I, because, you know, in my ignoramus head, I thought, eh, I don't know if I like it or not. So, <laughs> you know, when Bessie's here, I got to crack out everything and look at it. So, it right. has um, a tip on it that will hold the wax, and you can stick, it gets hot, and you can stick it in the wax, and then you can write with it. And then it has a wire brush that you can make designs with, it, it heats up. And then it has like a rectangular paddle. And that rectangular paddle, let me just tell you now. Oh, wow. Uh, so I'm gonna show you my plain ones first before I discovered the rectangular paddle, and then I'll show you the others. So this is just the iron. That's so cool. Oh, it looks like big waves coming up and crashing. Now look okay, how you can see it shine up right here. See how cool it is? Uh-huh. And that one. And I was just playing with different colors. I wasn't trying to make a scene or anything like that. And then I thought to myself, self, I wonder if you put rock candy on it while it's still a little wet. Well, glittery. Look at that. Ooh. Glittery, and glittery. This one. And oh, I yeah. used some tinsel distress glitter. Very pretty. And then this one, you know, I was just trying to make kind of Halloweenish. The purple that I got, now I ordered it from Amazon. Uh -uh, it was either Jerry's or Dick Blake. Oh. But it glomped up. It was the only color I had that did that. See? Oh, and I don't know. I, I'm going to have to investigate more because, as usual, I haven't watched enough or hardly any videos. And the more that I watch, the more I'm like, oh my. Oh my. I want you to look at this. Uh, see the doll? Mm hmm. See? See, the doll is over here. I don't think it's showing, though. Probably not. Okay. Okay, so anyway, I wanted to make one that looked like peppermint candy, kind of, what I, is what I was thinking for Christmas. So I took the rectangular... The ribbon, ribbon candy. Yeah. And look. And that's so cool. But I tried to make that movement, too, with the thing, and I couldn't get those waves, so it's kind of all in the wrist. Or the person's wrist. <laughs> Mine's a little stiff. <laughs> so that was done with the rectangle. But wait. Check this out. It looks like bricks. And yes. Look. Okay, so I just took yellow and brown and I smeared it on there with my iron. And then I used the rectangles and I just mashed and pulled off. Mashed and pulled off. And it looks just like a brick, an old brick wall. And it even has... I mean, like the where the grout is, it has a three-dimensional effect. I just I couldn't believe that. So then, mm -hmm. you know, then I really started playing. So here's a green one. Could go this way. Look at that! Isn't that cool? It is. And then I, I did this one. Oh, that's cool! I didn't see that. So while I was doing that. Uh, right after I got through doing that, I was like, I wonder if there's more shapes of these. And there are. Oh, yes. And then I watched a video where this guy used a star shape. And then it was like, oh, I have to I find that star. <laughs> <laughs> so then we kind of fell down a rabbit hole. And you know how that goes. Oh, yes. But, we kept scrolling around yep. looking. But then the mail came. <laughs> and I had ordered, you know, this to the side. I had wanted this, um, this is the 3D, um, what's it called? Hmm, does it have a name? Spark 
Sparkle. It's called Sparkle 3D embossing folder. Because I just thought that was so cool, and I thought it would be so pretty, like a backdrop behind a Christmas tree or a little girly card, or I don't know, you know, so many pretty things. And you know, That's Judy, pretty. can you smell this? Ah, it's got I that wax. Use my wax. And Isn't Judy loves cool? to smell things. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, I was just playing. That's what I do when I get stuff. Look at this one. So, with this one, I embossed it. And then I took a metallic ink pen and oh. just scribbled on the top. And it was so easy. It wasn't like every single circle has to be, you know, you have to do it one at a time. If you just go back and forth across it, it colors the beads. And look at that metallic. And a little of the places where you see gold, I took some gold and rubbed on there too, but isn't that cool? I'm waxing over here. And then- Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. I got this um, layering stencil by Simon Hurley. And he, he was doing a live and I was watching it and I, he put his new Santa stamp in the middle of it, which I thought was adorable. And then I was like, I see a circus tent. I see the inside of a circus tent. I love that. So anyway. Did you I, message I, him, man? Yes. And so I, I commented and I said, oh, I see a circus tent. And he was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it, and it's all about the colors you use. Like he used um, red and craft, I think. And white. So it really looked circus tent. But then you had a Santa on it, which made it look Christmassy. So, um, but anything you put over that. And then, of course, I sprayed it. And I also got some Picket Fence Distress Spray. Because I was like, why well, haven't I thought before that that would make perfect snowflakes? I don't know. I don't know. So we both got but that. So, yeah. And then I made this one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at oh, that. that's pretty. Ugh. I think that's so beautiful. So anyway, that's what we've been doing. Now Bessie's over here just above and she's not gonna be able to lift her arm over her head tomorrow. <laughs> here, okay. I'll let you. So while oh, I'm doing yes. that, now let me show you this. So this is, this is the iron that is made to heat wax, I say. So, yes. you know, it has a nice long handle, it has a nice long cord. It has some temperature settings over here. There's no holes in the bottom. The sides are smooth so you can clean up like nothing gets off in there or, you know, all you do is wipe it off with a paper towel. Now mine has a long, nice cord too. And mine is from Wait. Timu. Wait. Wait, they look the same, let go. So this is what it you counts. have. <laughs> uh oh, it, you, uh, okay, yeah. so you're gonna have to talk. Sorry. Okay, she she's gonna have to open the door. She has to answer the door. Okay. Yes, how do you like my little teammate? Look, it's got a little face on it. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it gets hot as fire. I'm telling you, it'll burn you. It will burn you. So anyway, here is mine with my little iron. And it kind of is gloppy. But it, 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 heat, it does heat. <laughs> but it's not as smooth because I used off-brand... Not no, a, photo paper. Yeah. Photo paper. And it didn't slide very well. But here is with Ooh. my iron. With my iron. Look at this one. No, wait a minute. Yeah, this is your paper. My paper. The, the paper that's made to do this on. Right. Yeah. And it does make a difference in the way it goes on. It's smooth. So both irons are smooth. But. It depends on the paper, but my iron gets way too hot for, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just too hot because it'll melt the, the paper. Look at that big mess. <laughs> but it might be all right for a background. It will be. It's cool. And then here's black. Never know for a spooky scene. And so, uh, anyway, some of them are cool looking, but... My $5 iron versus a $50 iron. You might want to spend the money. <laughs> you might want to. Sometimes when you're squeaky. Look at this area right here, y'all. 
Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Now that's with my stuff and your, uh, maybe that's with your little tool. I don't know. I mean, I don't know, but it's I cool. don't think it is, but anyway. And then I thought I'd do a little Halloween and my iron had a little bit of black up in this somehow. And so it started making black, so I started just kind of dabbing it around. So that's where, where the black came in. So I thought that'd be good for Halloween. And then this one was a big old mess. It was it was light pink and light blue. And I did not like that wax at all. So I just kind of started covering it up. And here's some mustard. Yeah, and I like that one. She's like, ugh. But well, I mean, I think it's got so much like depth to it. Yeah. I like it. And I said, you know what? If you put like a, a trunk, a piece of a trunk and just a branch here and there, wouldn't that make a beautiful fall tree? I think so. And then I love this color. Yeah. I don't know if I buffed that one good or not. I think that was a mess up too. That I've, here's my bricks. So cool. Pretty cool with that stylus. Yes, I did order me one. <laughs> and all these extra heads to go on it. So I was just trying different uh, paper with uh, uh, all the colors of wax that I had. I love this oh, color. Love it. Yep. And then these two were done on Kodak paper and it really curled them up but uh anyway i think the benefit of of the real paper is it's thicker and it can really take the heat it look does. at look at these look at these image these did it, did look I, at these that look at that yeah isn't that so cool yeah mm. but it's, see right here Oh, I hadn't even buffed this one yet. But see right here in the middle? I mean, it bubbled up. Made a big old bubble that stood out. <laughs> it melted paper. And that's the Kodak paper. Yeah. And I need to shine this one up a little bit. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we did today. That's kind of fun we got into. Yeah. And um, I don't know if it makes a difference or not. Are we think. gel printing tomorrow? I don't know. Are we through for the day? I oh, hope not. Gosh. We've been on the, on the, on the internet too much. We need to do <laughs> some more crafting. <laughs> yeah, we've been shopping too much. I don't know if that's yeah. shiny or, yeah. It looks like cylinders. Yeah. Ugh, it's so cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yep. But, you know, if you want to go for $5, this is $50. And if you want to be able to control your heat and not set nothing on fire, <laughs> use this one. <laughs> you don't get the smiley face if you get the big one. I think it's supposed to be like a steam iron, but it's not really a steam I'm iron. I'm trying to look to see if I can find some sort of face. <laughs> <laughs> some sort of something, something. Yeah. Alrighty. So anyway, love you guys. Hope you're crafting today. Blessings.